Hey guys, you're watching Dansky, and in this two minute tutorial, we're going to learn how to create custom icons on a Mac. So from the Photoshop welcome screen, we're going to create a new document that is 1024 pixels wide and 1024 pixels high. Let's click OK. And we have a nice large document. You can do this at any size, but I like to have a nice large document just for any higher res screens out there. So these icons look nice and crisp. Now the first thing we're going to do is get a graphic into Photoshop. Now you can create your graphic from scratch, you can get it from Google, you can import it from anywhere. The important thing is that you get it into Photoshop. So I'm going to grab one from Illustrator. This is an illustration of a bat from Adobe Stock. And I'll go edit copy. And we'll just go edit and paste that into Photoshop. And I'll scale this up holding Alt and Shift from the center and get this as close to the edge as possible and just double click to set that transformation. And of course we don't want a white box around the back. Well, you might want a white box, but if you don't, if you want your graphic to be on transparency, just switch off your background layer. And next we can go to File, Export, and Save for Web Legacy. This is the old school way of exporting PNGs. And we're just going to select PNG 24 from the dropdown and make sure that transparency is checked. And you can see all of the other settings that I'm using here. And we'll go ahead and save this to our desktop and we'll call this bat. And now what we can do is if we right click on this new file we've created bat.png and go to open with preview.app. Remember this is on a Mac. And then go to edit, select all and edit copy. We can copy it from preview and now if we create a new folder What we can do is we can right click on this folder and go get info and it will load up the information for this folder and we can click this thumbnail in the top left corner, go to edit, paste and it will paste in our bat and you can do this for folders, apps, absolutely anything. And there we go, that's how to create custom icons on a Mac.